I'm back. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my eyebrows. Um, many of you from Instagram like how I do my fluffy eyebrow look. So I'm gonna let you in on how I achieved that eyebrow look. And if you like this matted mess on my head, it's the Ultra Dominican Curly Half Wig in 1B. I bought it off of Amazon, so I'll leave the link in the description. Have at it. So let's start. And um, don't mind my skin, guys. It's recovering from a breakout, which is another reason why I didn't feel like coming on camera. Because um, I wasn't liking how my skin looked. The first step you want to do is choose what you'd like to use to make your eyebrows fluffy looking. So there's eyebrow gels. There's the soap method. I like to use edge control. So I take my edge booster and I use a spoolie here and I will brush my eyebrows up and start to brush your eyebrow hairs up. Once you've brushed up all the hairs, you kind of want to shape your eyebrow how you like so that the hairs fall in place. The ends of my eyebrows get a little unruly, so I have to kind of shape them at the end and place the hairs where I want it to place. As the edge control dries, it gets a bit tacky and the hairs start to stay in place so when that happens I like to move the hairs around a bit. Next you want to choose the eyebrow product of your choice. I personally have been using this Marinus eyebrow pencil. It's their all day micro brow pencil and definer crown. One end has the pencil and the other end has the definer crown, so you can highlight underneath your brow with it. Sometimes I go all around my brows with this because it gives such a nice crisp look. It makes my brows stand out too. So what I do is I take my pencil and I start at the end. I don't like a super dark brow. I like my brows to look natural for the most part. Um, so I'll just slightly, like the darkest part will be the end of the brow. But for the most part I just um, fill in bald spots where there's no hair. And I'll, as you can see, I'm flicking the pencil upward. I'm flicking it in the direction that the hair grows to get a more natural look. And then that's about it. My face is pretty asymmetrical, especially since one hooded eye is more hooded than the other. Um, it took me years to figure out how to do my makeup where I can make my face look more even and symmetrical. So this eyebrow tends to, um, in pictures I see a lot, it comes out more than this eyebrow, like it's not even. So I like to just make them, I like to bring them out to a point where they're both like even. So I take my pencil and I create some faint hair strokes just to give the illusion that my eyebrow is a bit longer than it is.
and if I end up going too harsh on this part, which I usually always do, I just take my spoolie again and soften the front up and blend it out a bit so that it's not so harsh. This end is the crown. It's quite pale, so be careful. Don't go too harsh with this, especially if you're black like me. So I like to take it and create little strokes underneath the brow. Above it as well and outline the top of the brow, which is, which is something I didn't always do, but I've been doing lately. And like I said, just be very light handed with this. This is also a great tool. The crown is also really great for grooming your eyebrows. I groom my own eyebrows, so. I like to use this to see where I need to tweeze and pluck. So now you have this very defined brow, too defined. So what I like to do is use my concealer brush. I'll take some concealer and kind of drag it downward and blend out the crown while also kind of covering that very pale you know, chalky look that it gives off so that it looks more natural but still very defined. I actually don't have my concealer with me but there's product left on the brush so I'm just using what's left. You really don't need a lot of concealer which I also like because I hate the feeling of like packing a lot of concealer underneath my brow because I tend to break out a lot near my eyebrows. Um, so I like this method for me. A trick I like to do is raise my eyebrow and see if the line is like truly straight. Because sometimes you'll see women, their eyebrows look awesome when their face is relaxed but as soon as they raise their eyebrows you see this like squiggly line like it looks like it's doing the wave so i like to raise my eyebrow and make sure that underneath is completely like straight across and as you can see it's not straight like here it kind of dips which i often do naturally by mistake so I'm just going to correct that and simply use my concealer brush to straighten that out. And then relax my brow again. And then now it looks like even better and more accurate. And then I go ahead and do the same thing to the top of my brow and blend out the crown and that is pretty much it after this I would go ahead and do the other brow of course I usually do it at the same time but of course I'm not going anywhere so I don't really have to do that I'm just going to fix this a bit I like the front to look very like fluffy. I like where this stops and with this eyebrow I would probably bring it to about here so that it looks even and it's brought out to the same point for each side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow just so you can, guys can see um, the finished product. And there is the other brow. Um, I play around with my brows when I'm after I've done them for quite a while, so this probably won't be like the finished finished look, but for the most part, this is how they look when I'm done. 
After this, I would go ahead and start doing my makeup. And if you went too hard with the crown, covering those ashy spots with makeup will take care of it fine. I think the trick to getting your brows to look the most natural is to go in the direction that your brows naturally grow. So my brows on the end grow out like this. So I make sure to use my pencil going in that direction. I used to create a line underneath my brow all the way like underneath my whole brow. But I find that I like how natural it looks when I don't have that pencil line underneath here because hair doesn't naturally grow that way on this front part of my brow. So I no longer do that. I just use the crown and it looks a lot more natural that way. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for coming to watch how I do my brows. Thanks for stumbling upon this video. Um, according to YouTube, 90% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed so I don't really know what to do about that but if you watched thanks and I'll see you guys in the next video stay safe and goodbye